Now that we have the ability to show an icon on our application tray or our system tray, we can click on it, but when we click on it, it's not really appearing to be tied to the actual timer window at all, right? I would really like it if when the application first boots up, we don't show this window at all, and then only once a user clicks on this icon do we actually show the UI to the user. As a practical example of this, I wanna show you another application I use on my computer personally called Spectacle. Spectacle, it's this right here, is used for managing the position of windows on the screen. So for example, I can position a window with some hotkeys like this. By default, when I start up Spectacle, so I'll do so right now, it just appears on the screen, or excuse me, it just appears on the taskbar up here, and no menu or anything like that opens up by default. If I want to actually access Spectacle, then I have to go and click it, and then, okay, now I see all the menu and all the different options I can use to manipulate it. And so that's a very similar behavior that I want to have for my timer app as well. I want to have the application start up, only see the icon appear up here, and then when I click on it, only then should I see the browser window appear. So that's our goal. That's what we're trying to get at here. To accomplish this, let's first start off by making sure that the browser window does not start visible when the application is first turned on or first started. To make sure that the browser window is not visible when the application first starts, we can pass in another option to this called show, and we'll say false. So pretty straightforward. We're saying, okay, create a new browser window, but don't show it to the user. And so only at some later point in time, like when the user actually clicks on the, this icon, will we say, okay, now it's time to display the main window to the user, only at that point in time. So let's now test this out. We're gonna make sure that the browser window does not get displayed when we first start the application. Okay, so that looks good. We have the icon up here, but no browser window appeared on the screen. So that's definitely a good first step. Now the next thing I wanna do is make sure that whenever a user clicks on the icon, we actually do toggle the visibility of the main window. To do so, we can tie a click event handler to the tray object that we created. So we can interact with the tray object that we created right here exactly in the same way that we do the app or the browser window. We can assign different event handlers to the tray that are invocated whenever that particular event occurs. So let's figure out how to do this in practice. The first thing I'm going to do is assign this new tray object to a variable called tray. I'm going to assign that variable ahead of time, or I should say initialize the variable ahead of time, up by the main window. So we'll say let tray, and then I'm going to assign the new tray that we created to that new tray variable, like so. After that, we can then set up our click event handler. So we'll say tray dot on click, and whenever a user clicks on this thing, we're then going to execute some arrow function. So in particular, we want to toggle the visibility of the main window. So if the main window is not yet open, I want to show it. To do so, we can call main window dot show. Now clearly this right here is only gonna have the ability to display the window, so we're not really gonna be toggling the visibility of the window per se. We're only going to be having the ability to get it to appear on the screen, but if I then click it again, the window don't go, won't go away. So let's see what that looks like in practice. I'll go back to my terminal, we'll do our restart. Now when I click on the icon, the window appears to the user. If I click the icon again, however, this screen doesn't go away. So I don't really have the ability to dismiss this browser window at this point in time. If I click it again, I would really expect to see the entire window just disappear and go away until I click on the thing again. So it looks like that still needs a little bit of work in that regard, or a click event handler still needs a little bit of work. So let's take care of that task inside the next section.